I know what you're thinking when you hear Oklahoma. Tornadoes, cowboys, cows roaming the street, and well, grass. But I'm here to show you there is so much more to Oklahoma. We have a bustling nightlife scene, thriving businesses, and much, much more. This is Everything Oklahoma. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Everything Oklahoma, where we talk about, well, everything Oklahoma. Don't forget to subscribe to become part of our Red Dirt family. Boise City. It's really just a small town here in Oklahoma, but trust me, it has an explosive claim to fame. So this story all began on July 5th, 1943. Now, if you're familiar with that time period, the U.S. was involved in a really gnarly war against the Axis forces, right? This is in the midst of World War II. So the Nazis had begun their last offensive against Kursk, and the Australian and U.S. Army forces under General MacArthur were struggling really to fight back the Japanese. Now, the almost 1,200 residents in the city of Boise City followed the news pretty closely, as did most Americans. And little did they know that pilots at the Del Hart Army Air Base in Texas were preparing four B-17 bombers for a practice run. Now, this practice run was supposed to be a nighttime training mission and was supposed to start a few hours after dark. So the navigator was supposed to lead the flight group from Del Hart base to drop bombs in a range somewhere near Conlon, Texas. Now the target area was just this really small square area and it was lit up by four lights at each corner just so they can have a general idea of where they needed to drop the bombs to practice. It was really supposed to be a purely simple mission but some way, somehow, something went terribly wrong. Now, 30 miles to the north, most of the 1,200 residents of Boise City had already gone to bed. Most of the lights in the small town had already been shut off. Now, the only lights that were still on were the lights that surrounded the courthouse square. I'm sure some of you all already see where I'm going with this. So the small city actually seemed pretty deserted. There was a small cafe with a few people there, a few young couples, you know, teenagers walking home after leaving a local movie theater. Now it was just after midnight when literally all hell broke loose in this little town. So the explosions that happened weren't just extremely loud or deafening, but they were loud enough to wake most, if not all, of the 1200 people in Boy City. Now this unexpected air raid continued for 30 long minutes as the various townspeople rushed for cover. One of the guys eating at the cafe was actually the driver of a munitions truck. He dropped everything, ran full speed out of the cafe to drive his rig away because if something struck that, it could be extremely catastrophic. Now, after the first bomb fell, the town's air warning office, John Atkins, phoned the FBI in Oklahoma and sent the adjutant general a wire, Boys City being bombed. The fourth bomb also came really close to striking a parked fuel transport truck, striking the ground and exploding only yards from a boarding house. Now, Frank Garrett, bless his heart, the light and power man for Boy City, sprinted full speed, sweat dripping for the Southwestern Public Service Building and yanked down as hard as he could on the town's master light switch. That was actually a great idea because almost immediately the town was just thrust into complete darkness. If the town is dark, the people bombing wouldn't know where to drop the bombs. Now, either the blackout or the radio message to the pilot in response to Atkins' wire caused the navigator to realize his almost fatal mistake. These weren't bombs from World War II. These were bombs from the fighter pilots from Texas doing their drill. Somehow, after leaving the Del Hart base, the young navigator had made a 45-mile mistake. You remember I told you there were supposed to be four lights in their practice area of where to drop the bombs. Well, Boy City was a really sleepy town and that late it was really dark and some of the only lights in the city were the four lights that surrounded the courthouse. Now, after realizing their error, the pilots quickly departed back to Del Hart, Texas. 
Now, while the bombing left numerous craters in town, actually no one was injured. Like, that is amazing to me. The bombs were 100 pound practice explosives. Each bomb was filled with 4 pounds of dynamite and almost about 90 pounds of sand. So there was really actually no damage either besides the garage and the church and a few really deep craters that I guess we could call big potholes in the city. Now this accidental bombing made Boise City famous. It is the only continental American town to be bombed during World War II. And you may think, I told you about all this damage. How much damage was done to the city? Well, at the last estimate, less than $25. If you're interested in more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to become part of our channel. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to see some more great videos about the state of Oklahoma, click one of these now. See you soon, guys.